CARICOM heads of government have drafted a blueprint for the economic recovery of the region from COVID-19. The heads have accepted the final report of the CARICOM Commission on the Economy, which contains a 12-point action plan in response to COVID-19. Central to that plan is the proposal by St. Lucia's Prime Minister for a brand strategy to better enable market penetration. Here's Lisa Joseph. If we could now collectively spend more money on one singular brand for the West Indies, that's how much further we could go. Prime Minister Honorable Alan Chastney is confident that the Caribbean can derive more earnings as a region under a unified marketing brand. In fact, the Caribbean Tourism Organization, the CTO, realized this during two critical periods, 1991 during the Gulf War and 2008 financial crisis. The CTO launched campaigns advertising the Caribbean as one destination with multiple options. The success of the Caribbean brand and the, and the power of that Caribbean brand that's been built all over those years. Many countries that you would not normally associate as being in the Caribbean now affiliate themselves to the Caribbean. So Cancun is considered Caribbean. Costa Rica is considered Caribbean. Honduras, Guatemala, Panama, even Colombia and Cartagena is considered now Caribbean. And so is that really the image that people connote when they think of Caribbean, whether or not, but they, they use that word Caribbean to help promote their, their, the image of their, of their country. Honorable Chastney says brand differentiation is important and as such, the Caribbean should embrace and build on the powerful brand already created by West Indies Cricket, the University of the West Indies, and the West Indies Rum and Spirits Producers Association. You can still have your national identity, so St. Lucia, West Indies, Jamaica, West Indies, St. Kitts, West Indies. To show you how it works, you can't put Cancun, West Indies. You can't put Guatemala, West Indies. You can't put Panama, West Indies, right? So it is a very definable group. And when you now start thinking of the power of that brand, it's not just tourism. It's the success of our cricket teams. It's the success of our track stars. It's the success of our entertainers. Um, it's all of the collective successes of the West Indies. And more importantly, when you include now the history of the West Indies. CARICOM heads of government have taken note of the idea and have integrated it into a common tourism promotion plan. The proposal is also included in the economic recovery plan for the Caribbean post-COVID-19. Honorable Roosevelt Skerritt is the Prime Minister of Dominica. We need to, to create you know, a West Indies brand. Uh, as was indicated by the Prime Minister of St. Lucia, uh, we are known as the West Indies. The University of the West Indies has indicated uh, West Indies cricket, and I think it's important for us to start promoting this, this, this um, definition of ourselves as the West Indies, rather than the, the Caribbean, which extends way beyond the, the Caricom um, grouping. Prime Minister Chastney says all sectors can benefit from the West Indies marketing brand. The diaspora, Honorable Chastney suggests, can be enlisted to drive the brand in their adopted homelands. The Prime Minister of St. Lucia is longing to see the creation of a West Indies music label, among other ventures. From the Government Information Service, Lisa Joseph reporting.